So here's the new larval rearing system. Let's zoom out here. So we have a 10 gallon tank and a uh, two gallon plastic fish bowl, a drum style fish bowl. A um, couple clamps there, a couple clamps there. A um, couple internal filters that I use for grow out. A uh, little 404 water pump, and a stealth heater, ammonia alert badge right there. Um, hanging down there to the side is the uh, thermometer that never sticks. But uh, <coughs> here's the premise. Um, this is actually the top of the fishbowl. And we've cut off um, the bottom of the fishbowl. And uh, the reason I did that was because that top has a nice little rim. And I've got that uh, mesh. It's a very fine micron mesh. I'm going to say it's like 35 or 23. It's pretty fine. Um, it's just held on there by a rubber band. Um, you can see that there. So that allows for the water to flow through. And then leaving the top open here for access. And so you can see there's water flowing in right here. And that's actually controlled by this little ball valve. And that's being fed in by the mini jet right here. So you'll notice we've got a couple coming out. They're just going to ram it in there. And the one bleeds off into the tank. And the other one connects right there. There's a little bit of a quarter inch rigid tubing uh, that actually goes between that. And it's a quarter inch hole just drilled right in there. And uh, so I'm going to run it right at about that level so that you don't get tiny bubbles for me. And uh, by the way, the clamps are nylon clamps and they're holding the bowl in place there. So that's what they're for. So should get a nice circular flow in this kind of pseudo chrysal. Um, we'll see how it actually works out. And yes, you can see also there's uh, air running into the tank for uh, some better gas exchange. So that's pretty much the system. The internal filters are there just doing their thing. Just uh, little duettos are just sponges and uh, uh, carbon uh, if I need it. So that's the plan. Um, the nice thing about this is that I don't have any air going in the Chrysler, so it's a, it should be a little bit gentler and uh, uh, bigger, much bigger volume of water to work with. Um, but I can still control things really nicely in the Chrysler. And uh, water changes should be really easy because you just take it from out here with a siphon so you don't have to worry so much about trying to avoid the larva. So that's the uh, that's the new setup for the filefish. We'll see how that goes.